setting up a remote database for our mobile applications provide us a way to give our users dynamic content without ever changing or actually updating our mobile application. And one of the remote database solution, easiest one for our Flutter application is the Google's Firester. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn to do basic database crude operations in Firester through our Flutter application. Hello, welcome to React Pets. Together, we will learn to develop modern, robust and beautiful applications. The very first thing we need to do is we need to create a Firebase project and add the config file to our new Flutter project. If you don't know how to do that, please check out my Firebase auth tutorial. I have described it there and the link of the tutorial is provided in the description below. I'm using the same project that I created for Flutter Firebase auth tutorial. So you can see the name as Flutter Firebase auth. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up our database in the Firebase project. So to do that from the left panel, go to the database option. And in there, we are going to set up a cloud Firestore database here. Let's press create database. And instead of starting in lock mode, let us start in test mode that allows us to do the basic crude operations without thinking about the database permissions. Next, for now, let us just keep the location as it is done. Once that is done, you see this database. For now, before doing create operations, it's easier to do read operations. So we'll make a bunch of dummy data. To do that, create start collection. Let's name our collection notes. Let's leave document ID as auto ID and give a note of field title, which is a string. Let's say my first note and then add another field description. So like this, add a bunch of data. Let me speed up this by adding bunch of other documents. Here, I have added three documents to our Firester that is under notes collections. Now it's time to work with our application. Here, I have created a new Flutter project. Now, the next thing we'll do is we, we will add Firester crude dependency in our pubspec.ml file. So to do that, let us find that pub.dev Firestore, Cloud Firestore, it's already here. So the version is 12.0.12.9 plus 4. So let's add that under dependencies. Cloud Firestore. Okay. One next thing we'll have to do is in our build.gradle inside our android app folder we need to enable multi-text enabled true okay and as we have added firestore dependency we need to rebuild again let me close this let us rebuild again Okay, the project has built and it is successfully running. The very first thing we'll do is we'll remove these bunch of comments and the demo project will rename this as Flutter Firestore Crude. And let's remove these comments. Let's change the primary color to pink. I like pink. Yes. Next remove this home page and create our own home page okay. and we'll create our home page inside Let's just keep it here 
lib let's create a folder called presentation and inside that let's create another folder called phases and in that let's create home dot dot and in here let's import material then let's create a stateless wizard home page let's give it the title notes let's leave it like this for now and in here let us import our home page okay finally we can see the home page now very first operation we'll do is we'll list out the nodes that we have created earlier in our firestore so to do that let me create a another folder called data and in there let me create a file called firestore service dot let's import let's create a class Firestore service in here. Let's create Firestore underscore TV Firestore dot instance and let us make this class singleton. So to do that, let's create only a internal constructor. And let's create five star service. Internal and yeah, five star service. It will be done. to make this static all right so every time we create firestore service from this constructor we are just retaining this instance so it's a singleton so next function we'll make is next thing we'll make is a model for our data model and in here node dot dot class node and we know it has two fields string title string and one extra field that it will always have is id so let's create a constructor let's make it an name constructor and firestore data that will receive will be a map so let's make a function that will return node from map map Description ID is to ID. Okay. So from map it will convert to a note object. Now here what we'll get is first we'll get get notes function. Here we'll return return dv first 
we'll take the fire store instance then collection the name of our collection was notes okay and then snapshots so this will give us a stream of query snapshot but however we'd like to use our notes object we'll like to return our notes object instead of this so for that what we'll do is dot map and we'll take a snapshot snapshot and here again dot documents dot map and here we'll take a document and in here what we'll do is note dot first let us import note dot from map dot data and this id is document id let me format this okay so also let's change this to list now what this function will return is a stream of list of note object so this is what we can use in our ui so let us go to our home page and in here let me remove this body and use stream builder so a stream is Firestore service dot get nodes. Let's not keep the initial data and in here first if the snapshot dot has error or snapshot dot that is not a snapshot that has data then we'll return circular progress indicator else we'll return a list view list view builder item count will be data dot length as we know our snapshot let's also provide it with type our snapshot type is list of note and let's import this firestore service and let's import this note okay and let's remove this bunch of extra comments that were there and in the item builder here first thing we'll do is note is equal to snapshot dot data index this will give us the particular note and what <coughs> return is list style title will be text note dot title and subtitle will be text note dot description okay so let's see there is no error let me okay it's stuck let me just hot restart there is some error fail to handle method call firebase with firebase app with name default does not exist yes this exception arise because we forgot to add Google services in our build.gradle. So in inside Android folder build.gradle, not inside app, 
first android builder cradle in the dependencies we need to add google services com.google.gms colon google hyphen services 4.3.2 and inside build.gradle inside our android app folder we need to apply that google services plugin okay but if you have followed my firebase auth tutorial you must have done this already okay so let's rebuild because we changed the native build file let's rebuild our application well the application has successfully built and here we can see our list of nodes that we have created in our fire restore now one last thing we'll do in this part is we'll click on this note and see the details in the detail page so let's create our detail page in here let's create a new page note details start and import material let's write it details and in here let's create final note note so let's create a constructor let's make this note as required okay and here let's write text note dot title height let's separate it by 20 pixels and text description all right and let me style this theme of context dot text and dot title dot copy with bold font size twenty point zero and let's style the description text style font size 16.0 okay and in home on list style on tab let's use navigator push context neutral page route builder uh, it gives an argument context it does not require no detail space notice no okay um, okay so if we tap on one of the node it will go to the detail space let's install it a bit Well, so with this the first part has concluded where we have successfully added and configured fire restore plugin in our flutter application and loaded a list of data from our fire restore into our application thank you everyone for watching this tutorial subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notifications for my other tutorials see you on the next part